The only guys that I allow you to say are better than Kyrie. Andre Gudalo on the greatest point guards of all time. Here is his list. Magic Johnson, Steph Curry, and Isaiah Thomas. I don't know if it's really in the exact order, but it doesn't really matter. He says that these are the only people he says that are greater than Kyrie, which I don't really know about this. I would put Jason Kidd ahead of Kyrie in general, but I don't know. Where would you guys rank Kyrie, and does he deserve to be a top four point guard pretty much? Curry passed Ray Allen for the most three-pointers made all time, including playoffs. This is very impressive, and obviously I thought he was going to do this, and... He definitely probably was the one of the fastest to get to this record because Ray Allen was a lot older than Steph Curry is right now when he finished this record. He was probably like around 36 or something. Steph Curry's only 33 right now. Here's his performance of what he did later that night. Curry last night had a great scoring performance. 40 points, 5 of 24 from field goal, 9 of 17 from 3-point field goal. And the Warriors actually beat the Bulls last night, 119 and 97. It was an absolute blowout and... The Warriors are definitely one of the best teams in the NBA, and there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to be still one of the best later on in the season. The score of the Dallas versus Spurs game last night was 123 Dallas to 109 Spurs. Luka Doncic had 32 points, 15 assists, and 12 rebounds. Kristaps Porzingis had 32 points and 7 rebounds. I don't know how far the Mavericks are going to make it this year. It seems like every year they're really out in the first round. Brzingis needs to be more consistent, and I feel like that's the main problem. His scoring performance last night was definitely impressive with 32 points. He definitely needs to keep that up and stay healthy for the rest of the year because health has definitely been his main problem throughout the NBA, his NBA years. And I don't really know how he can really help his, himself to stay healthy for the rest of the year. How far do you think the Mavericks are going to go in the playoffs this year? What if OKC kept Durant, Harden, and Westbrook? Which if I think if Harden would have stayed and they would have paid him more money, I don't think Kevin Durant would have ended up leaving when Russell Westbrook and them and going to the Warriors. I don't think that would have happened. I think they would have won two to three championships somewhere around there. And I think they probably would have been went down as one of the greatest teams of all time. But that didn't happen because they didn't want to pay Harden for some reason, which was one of the stupidest mistakes ever. They should have paid Harden and kept him on the team. And this would have been one of the greatest teams of all time.